Three Utah hospitals are among the top in the nation when it comes to keeping heart failure patients healthy and out of the hospital. Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute in Murray is one of those hospitals. Here to explain how they're accomplishing this is Kismet Rasmussen, a nurse practitioner with Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute. And you've been there for 15 years, so you've seen a lot mm -hmm. of heart failure patients and a lot of development um, in medicine and in care. What is heart failure and who's most at risk? That's a great question. You know, heart failure is a really common chronic illness, and um, and we see it in about six million people across the country. Oh wow! It's a condition where either the heart is stiff mm -hmm. or it's weak, and in either scenario, people retain fluid and they really can't do the things that they used to be able to do. So they just feel poorly. They get short of breath with with that uh, whole scenario. So it's a noticeable condition. You'll notice some of those symptoms. And this is in men, women, the old, the young? Exactly. Uh, it's just all of the above. It, it can be yeah. in, in the young. It's generally uh, more common in the 65 and older population, especially when people are, are being admitted in the hospital. Okay. So we obviously know that a lot of people are affected, people right here in Utah. And now three of our hospitals within the IHC group are being recognized. What's that recognition? What are you doing right? Well, what Intermountain is doing right is really paying attention to trying to reduce hospital readmissions for patients with heart failure as well as those with other conditions. It's such an important time in healthcare right now to improve care in general. Right. And yeah. readmissions are expensive and we want to try to do what we can to prevent preventable readmissions. And so it really takes coordinating care so that we can do the right thing in the hospital with medicines, teaching patients, and then coordinating their care as they leave the hospital. So when someone leaves, it's almost a little bit of a panic because you don't have the doctors and the nurses and everyone coming to check up on you, but you really want those heart failure patients to take advantage and take control of their own health. What do you teach them? What do they do after they leave the hospital? You know, it's such an important um, aspect of, of heart failure care and chronic illness care is for patients to understand their illness and engage in self-care. So we teach patients in the hospital how to do that, how to use a diary to monitor their weights and their symptoms. And then we really want them to do that in the outpatient setting so that they know when they're running into trouble so that they c can call their care provider early before they run into trouble where they might need to be readmitted in the hospital. So it really is a partnership with their care team so that they know when they're stable and then when they should call if things start to change for them. Well, we know at IMC, the Heart Institute, you guys are doing the best practices. Mm -hmm. You know that it worked. How are you sharing that with other hospitals and other healthcare providers? That's a great question. You know, there's um, such a movement right now in terms of identifying patients in the hospitals who are at high risk for readmissions because of various factors. Say they can't afford their medications, they can't get to follow up after the hospitalization, um, they're not really sure about the discharge instructions, various reasons. Uh, so we're trying to focus on all heart failure patients, but especially those that are at the highest risk of having a readmission. We're focusing with a very uh, concerted effort with a multidisciplinary team, the providers, the nurses, the pharmacists, the dietitians, cardiac rehab staff, to really educate patients and enhance their services when they're in the hospital. And then once they're in the, in the community, in their own home setting, we provide a follow-up call for them within three right. days of discharge. And then we have a follow-up scheduled appointment within a week of discharge so that they get that close follow-up to see that they're following the plan mm -hmm. at home and to yeah. see if things are changing and how things can be adjusted to keep them stable. And so this has to be a whole partnership of a lot of people making mm -hmm. sure, including the patient, making sure that they are healthy in the future. Registered nurse uh, Kismet Rasmussen, thank you for joining us. Thank you. We'll put those details on our website at goodforutah.com.